Hello, it's Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. I wanna share with you a recent thrift haul. I went to a couple stores, a Goodwill and a huge Ventures Village, and I got a few smalls. I'm starting to think about Christmas gifts, so some of these things might end up being gifted, but I found some beautiful things and I wanted to show you. So the first one is this mason jar, I don't know if it's the real mason brand, I kind of don't think so. It was only $3 and of course it's a utensil holder and I think it is just adorable. I love it. And at that same booth I got this really, really pretty basket. Again, this was $3 as well. And I guess it might have been for a floral arrangement. It has some floral foam stuck on the bottom still. I love the gray paint that it's got on it and I love the shape it reminds me exactly if you collected American Girl styles like I did it reminds me of the fishing basket that Kirsten had it's like the same exact shape so I, this could just, this would be beautiful anywhere I might keep it I might store napkins in it I'm not sure yet the next thing that I found that might go to a young niece or something is a candle snuffer it's a really cute one i remember when i was a kid my brothers and i used to fight over who got to snuff out the candles like on the advent wreath or any other time that mom had candles like christmas time it was just so much fun to use the snuffer and i thought this one was really sweet it was made in the usa in um what does it say rhode island i think yeah Providence, Rhode Island, made in USA, and it's a little flower basket. Just snuff the candle. It's so sweet. So I could just see a little girl just loving that. And then also, I found this, speaking of sweet little things, I found this heart-shaped plate with flowers on it from Williams Sonoma Home. It says, La Framboise Shin made in Japan. I just love the heart shape. I love the strawberries. It was just so sweet. And William Sonoma is one of my all time favorite. I love their things so much. I also found for $5, this Faltzgraf, I hope I'm saying it right, Faltzgraf platter. Sedona is the pattern. I thought it was so fun and retro with all these stripes got this yellow speckle on it too. It says it was hand painted and dishwasher microwave safe. Just so cute. Very vintage and retro feel. Maybe it feels like the 70s to me. A lot of times when I'm out thrifting, I see a lot of handmade pottery and I always assume it must be people's pottery from high school or something and they've grown up and moved on and their mom is cleaning out the house. That's what I always imagine. But a lot of it's really, really nice. And this especially, I just thought was absolutely <laughs> adorable. It's Calvin and Hobbes and whoever made these did such a great job copying Calvin and Hobbes. And I'm gonna wait for the car to go by. My sons love Calvin and Hobbes, so I just had to get this for their room. It was like $2, and I said you can use it for whatever. It could be a planter. They put some, they put a, ma a magnifying glass in it for now, but I could see it being used as a planter, just a knick-knack thing. Anyway, but yeah, someone, someone did a, there's a lot of skill in this thing. It says DB01 on the bottom, so I'm imagining someone about my age, <laughs> no, younger than me. Someone a little bit younger than me made this in their high school art class is what I'm guessing. And then when their mom asked if they wanted it, they said, no mom, just get rid of all that stuff, which is what I always tell my mom about all the things she saved from school. <laughs> and then I found this bed jacket. Okay, I have wanted a quilted bed jacket, not a quilted robe, because you know if you ever watch Mad Men, the, uh, the writer of that show, if he hated you, he would dress you in a quilted robe. So I don't wanna do that. But I think these quilted bed jackets are so sweet. And I've been looking for one on my favorite online sites and they always are a little more than I wanna spend. Well, this was $2, maybe even $1.50 at the Goodwill. 
and I just love it. It's an old one. It was it says Leisure Life Made in USA, and it has someone's name written in marker, which makes you think maybe, you know, when you go to the nursing home and you have to label all your clothes for the laundry. So maybe it was someone who um, was in a nursing home and then her clothes were donated. I guess I like to imagine the stories of the things I'm buying. So that's my story on this, but I'm looking forward to using this in the fall. Today it's a hot and sticky day, but I'm looking forward to wearing this in the mornings in the fall i just love the vintage styling love this vintage styling it's got little snaps it's quilted i think it's just polyester it'd be nicer if it was cotton it'd be softer but it's gonna keep me nice and warm in these chilly fall mornings coming up before i bust out my big vintage robes oh i just love it it's so cute little collar you can't go wrong made in usa for two dollars at the Goodwill. I, will, I would love to get one of these in cotton that wasn't for pajamas, but something to wear, you know, out and about. I've seen them um, day dress, the company day dress, who is uh, Gabby Deeming, who used to work at, Gabby Deeming, who used to work at House and Garden UK. She started this company called day dress and they make these gorgeous dresses with block print cotton that she gets made for her in India. I think she designs it herself, but she also has now, she's got a line of these quilted jackets that are made to wear like out. And I, I want one, I want one so much. Okay. And then the last thing I saved the best for last. So I said, I love William Sonoma. I do. I, I think they've done so much. Be Everything they I've ever gotten from there has been such great quality. And I found this complete set for let's see it was four it was eight dollars total it was four of these pasta i call them pasta dishes because they're like big shallow bowls for these they, these were 99 cents a piece you see these are williams sonoma made in portugal i just love these these remind me of like the early 2000s when i was ogling their catalog all the time and there's just something about the 90s and early 2000s for me, my youth. <laughs> I just, things from that era just get me. So there's artichokes. There's one with peppers. There's, these, yeah, these were 99 cents each. This one has an eggplant. And I have been looking for pasta dishes for a while because all the ones that we got when we got married, except for one, are now broken because we use them so much. I guess we eat a lot of pasta here. And then here, what is this vegetable? I can't remember. It'll come to me, but I can't think of it right now. Anyhow, I, um, so there are four of these, maybe. And then to top it off, let's put a little thing in it. The big server, and this was $4. So I was just over the moon to find these at the thrift store for such a great deal. I see them online secondhand and people want like $30 for like just the server dish. I mean, I'm nostalgic, but I'm not that nostalgic, and I'm also very cheap. <laughs> so it was just great to find these at such a great price. I hope you enjoyed seeing my latest thrift haul. If you wanna see the video that goes with it, I posted earlier uh, about my trip to the store, and you can follow me all through the store and look at everything that I saw. These are the things I managed to bring home with me. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up down below if you like this video. And let me know what you think of all of my finds. This is Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.